Joining us now from Washington, Fox News senior correspondent Rita Cosby with more on the investigation as to what happened. Uh, Rita, what do we know? Well, John, law enforcement sources are telling me that they are almost certain that indicted terrorist Osama bin Laden is behind the deadly hijackings, and they are quickly getting some significant leads. Law enforcement officials say that they have the names of virtually all of the hijackers. Sources say that they got the names with the help of the plane's manifests and also intercepted cell phone calls. Fox News has learned that at least one of the hijackers was previously known to authorities as a supporter of bin Laden's. Sources also say that the hijackers were mainly Egyptian and Saudi nationals, the two groups that comprise a good portion of bin Laden's followers. Now, investigators tonight are following the paper trail. Some of the passenger tickets purchased by the hijackers were, I'm told, bought in cash. But in one case, sources say that a single credit card was used to buy tickets for seven of the hijackers. Also, a car left at Boston Airport, Logan Airport there, containing technical flight training information, led authorities to a flight training school in southern Florida. Four of the men who authorities believe participated in the hijacking of the Twin Towers in New York lived in southern Florida and at some point were trained at two separate training schools there. Heavily armed authorities also stormed a Boston hotel today. There they found, according to sources, a vacant hotel room rented out by one of the hijackers. They also took three men into custody. One law enforcement source telling me tonight that the men have been released, that there was not sufficient evidence to hold any of them at this point, but that they're still going to keep an eye on them and also others. An Amtrak train from Boston to Washington was also held up for two hours in Providence, Rhode Island. Now, the mayor there tells Fox News that one man was arrested, the man you see there, on weapons charges. Sources now say that this may not be related to the hijackings, that they're still looking into this. Authorities are rounding up individuals, I'm told, in at least five states, including also in Pennsylvania, Maine, and also New Jersey, trying to get people with possible ties to bin Laden behind bars, even on immigration offenses, whatever offenses they could, in hopes of preventing any possible future attacks and also in hopes of getting valuable information leading to who they believe masterminded this highly sophisticated attack. John. Rita Cosby in Washington with the latest on the investigation. Rita, thanks very much.